hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video I'm sharing with you the nine things that I gained from doing frugal February the lessons I learned the things I learned about myself the wisdom and the insight I gained now if you haven't already subscribed please make sure you do not only will you obviously hear this video but you're also going to find out shortly how much money I saved by doing frugal February and also you're going to be introduced to the magic of manifesting March now before I launch into this, I want to make one just quick public service announcement. For people who are doing Frugal February who weren't able to buy my book, my brand new book, The Thousand Dollar Project, I have extended the special offer where you get access to exclusive video made by me for you as buyer where I share with you the insights into doing the thousand dollar project, the fear that I experienced, the challenges, how I overcame them, where my headspace was, why I am so passionate about this and you know how easy it is. And it's really where I, it's a very private and personal email for your eyes only. And I really do open up and share stuff with you that's not in the book and will not be shared on YouTube. So if you want access to this book, please make sure that you forward your receipt and this includes pur purchasing in store and purchasing online send me this your receipt and I myself personally not a robot will send you the link to watch this exclusive video all right what did I learn from doing frugal February so much I gained so much awareness and learned a lot about myself and what I really stand for and it was a great experience to go through for personal growth first thing is I lost weight I didn't intend to lose weight but for quite a while now I have had these like stubborn one maybe two kilos that I've been trying to get rid of and I lost half of that um, weight and I worked out it was because frugal February stopped me from wasting money on snacks it made me increase the amount of protein in my diet so that I could like go for a lot longer without needing food and it also helped me stop wasting money on things like chocolate bar so that's a pretty good result just alone from doing frugal February for me next thing I learned was the best things in life are free those sacred precious things like cuddles having an afternoon nap being amongst nature, being with my dogs, cuddling and getting kisses with Rocco and Tom, connecting with my friends and my family, um, being outside in the sunshine. They were the things that doing Frugal February made me incredibly present and incredibly connected to. It was really an eye-opening and heart-opening experience and that is probably one of the top three best things that I experienced and became aware of and I guess you know, it brought me back down to earth again in doing Frugal February. But the third thing that I got from doing Frugal February is I got a lot of time back. Simple things like forcing myself to have a coffee at home rather than grabbing a coffee from a cafe on the run. Um, you know, I could actually drink my coffee enjoyably and in my privacy of my own home and often alone whilst Rocco was still asleep rather than like rushing to a cafe, waiting, you know, to pay, waiting for it to be made and then drinking it rushing out the door I you know save me so much money because I don't need to go through that experience anymore and that is definitely something that I will be keeping in my ritual or routine habit system going forward the fourth thing I discovered from doing Feb frugal February is I actually do need things yes I made a big distinction between my needs and my wants like I would love to buy about like five new beautiful dresses but I realized I actually need some basic t-shirts and I actually need a new pair of gym sneakers for running and a new pair of sneakers just to wear with jeans because um, my old ones fell apart. I completely forgotten that that's what I actually needed and I kept on distracting myself with these beautiful glamorous sexy feminine dresses. Uh, no that stuff has to wait. I need a couple of basics first. So I guess it was quite grounding in realizing my priorities. The fifth thing that I realized, which I am really quite proud of, is my budget, which I do through my budget app, the Sugar Budget, is correct. I have not like put myself on a really tight, unnecessarily frugal budget. There's, it's realistic, it fits my financial situation, it's not overly generous and it's not overly tight. And because my weekday budget and my weekend budget is real, it gives me the choice where I can choose to be quite frugal during a week to potentially have a little bit more money that I can allocate towards the weekend. Um, I was 
during the month of frugal February I have been completely on top of my bills I'm li realistically living within my means and that has given me something to feel great about and feel incredibly grounded about that I'm not living excessively at all the sixth thing that I realized is I'm more of a manifesting type of person I don't like frugal February I respect it but there's something really frustrating to me about being frugal because it comes from a place of scarcity or a lack of and I really believe that we live in an abundant universe so you know we are constantly open um, and surrounded by opportunities to earn create manifest extra money beyond our needs and it's an incredible space to be in where you can attract a lot of things which is why I am so incredibly excited about doing manifesting March and it's funny as I was going through the month of February all these like funny little manifestation things started to happen and I was wondering if it was because I was getting excited about the anticipation of March arriving soon for example getting a random $30 voucher to Country Road to get a new t-shirt when I needed it the seventh thing that I realized from doing fruit February is balance you know what I like going out and catching up with friends for lunch or dinner or you know drinks I love having friends in my own home but I also love staying spending time at home bonding connecting with Rocco and Tom and my dogs and my family and my friends I like time out on my own I like to be able to um, buy people gifts when it's appropriate I like to be able to buy myself gifts when it's appropriate but all within a balanced way and of course I always like to make sure I take care of my financial situation by always being responsible with money you know paying off my credit card each month um, making sure that I've got my financial priorities in check and also obviously building up a share portfolio of passive income living a true authentic life that is balanced but aligned to my value system and I learned that that's really important to me the eighth thing that I realized about doing frugal February and I'm only just starting to have the awareness to understand what was really going on is towards the end of the month I have been starting to get this like aggression and this like rebellion and I'm like I can't wait for frugal February to be over I'm gonna like go nuts and I have this like inner urge to explode and buy all these things that I don't really need but more like want and I'm like whoa I like there's this like rebellion like this wild woman that just wants to unleash and like in the universe of shopping um, that's not healthy I need to kind of just tone it down chill out frugal February is not punishing it's a it's a it's a spiritual process almost of where you become a much more awake and aware of your spending habits and the flow of money in your life and it's given me so many amazing blessings so I just need to learn to chill out because I do not want to go and blow all my frugal February savings because of some silly like rebellious wild streak within me and then the final and ninth thing that I realized about doing frugal February is I really miss having mineral water whenever I was like in a meeting and someone said would you like a glass of water I say yes please and they'd say sparkling or tap or flat and I'd be like sparkling and I'd be so excited about having a glass of sparkling water because I can't have it at home because we're wasting money on bottled water bottle of sparkling water now thank you to everyone that recommended that I invest in a soda stream I am following your advice and I'm going to get one however I was doing some research and I don't know which soda stream to buy there was like a really mix of reviews so if you have a soda stream please let me know which one you've got and which one you recommend and why because that is one thing I'm definitely going to be including as an ongoing habit system in my spending habits we're having a soda stream in this house and we will not wasting um, bottles and damaging the environment and we certainly will not be wasting and damaging the family cash flow budget anyway thank you to everybody who watched and supported my vlogs and all the kind support and feedback manifesting March vlogs will still be happening but I will be doing them in like chunks of three to four days at a time so I'm not constantly bombarding you with all these videos all the time because I want you guys to subscribe to my channel and grow financially with me we can do it all together all right everyone thanks for watching and I will see you in a few days with some more um, exciting video content ciao for now